That's missing leg just. That's the first one. That's the first one you've sort of gone round your pad, your left foot, your front foot got way too far across. So we've got to figure out why that's happening. Morning legends, it is Friday the 24th of May, 9.15am, I am here at Crouch Inn Cricket Club, there it is on the right, I've just uh, parked my car, I'm now walking up to the gym, um, it's only about a two minute walk, so walk up to the gym, I've just had a coffee with Jolie, um, my boy, my Aussie mate from Perth Cricket Club, um, who's over here playing for Crouch End as well, just had a coffee um, up the road. He's already been to the gym nice and early. I got up and did some stuff on my phone, um, replied a few messages, spoke to the wife, um, and a few bits and pieces just checking in on socials. I spend a lot of time on my phone managing our, our community, so was uh, was doing that. Now gym, then a few errands, got to go to the bank, got to go try and get a UK SIM, got to go to the post office, send some merch, um, which is overdue, so if you've bought merch, apologies, I haven't got to you just yet, but sending that today. Um, and then watching the pies this morning, my favorite beloved Collingwood Magpies, there's a London red bus going by. And then uh, coaching this afternoon, um, I'll probably get a hit in for a brief hit um, before I start coaching, try and hit a few balls. Didn't bat the best yesterday, so just want to hit a few drives, feel the bat, ball in the middle of the bat, and make sure I'm ready for tomorrow. Bike done, 10 minutes. Went real hard, wanted to get a good sweat on. Push myself, it's the only cardio I'm gonna do this morning. I'm gonna go for a run this other, I just wanted to get a sweat on. Now onto the weights. Well, legend, session done. There's the gym in the background. Park road, pools and fitness. Nice gym. Um, short and sharp session. I was just there for a little over half an hour. Did the bike, went hard on that. You can see I'm a bit short of breath. I've uh, tried to work pretty hard. I just did uh, two circuits after that. Three exercise in each circuit, all weights. Um, and then two sets of each exercise. So six different exercises. Um, it's good, just a bit of a burn, a little bit of strength work, a little bit of conditioning, but I'm gonna do more conditioning this afternoon. So walking back to the cricket club now to pick up the car, then off to do some jobs, then go and watch the Mighty Pies. Walking along the street, road cars gone by, people gone by, talking on my phone like this. People must think, what is this cowboy doing? Who is he speaking to or what is he doing? Here's Big Jolie, the groundsman, assistant groundsman here at Crouch End. Here's to tomorrow's wicket for the second 11. We're at Osterley away. The second 11 are using a wicket they used two weeks ago. Jolie's got to brush it and cut it so it's not going to be quite as green as much grass, but it was a good wicket a couple of weeks ago. Obviously it's used, but lovely ground here. There's Charlie, the groundsman, who does a great job. And the blue sky, I'm going to talk about it a lot when the sun's out. It's a beautiful place. There he is. Very good, Jolie. Just got my couple of my jobs done, went to the bank, um, and then missed, and then uh, went to Vodafone, sorted out a UK SIM, so I've now got a UK number, much easier. I'm now back where I'm staying in London with the family, and the pies are on TV. They're losing at the moment in the halfway through the first quarter, 12 to 3. Early days, um, but they need a lift. Come on, the pies. Hot pies, baby. Good old Collingwood forever. We know how to play the game. Excuse my rubbishing, but the pies got up. I'm very happy. Great win. Come from behind win in the last quarter. Um, I'm here at the house, uh, the family's house I'm staying with. They've got a nice book collection behind me, a cricket bat there. Just having some lunch. Roast chicken and vegetables for lunch. Nice big bottle of water. You little beauty. Then heading down the club, have a quick hit, um, and then on to some coaching. Just arriving at the cricket club, uh, down here at Crouch End, where I'm doing some coaching for a few hours. I got uh, three half an hour sessions, and then a little break, and then uh, 
I have a two hour session, four half an hour sessions over at North London Cricket Club, which is literally two cricket clubs over and about a two minute walk. There's five cricket clubs within a one mile radius here in North London. So it's cool, really looking forward to heading up and doing some work with four of the batters from North London this afternoon. Um, I've changed things around a bit. I'm doing three lessons now, then gonna have a bit of a hit then rather than coming having a hit first. So into coaching now. Hey vlog, just got down here to North London Cricket Club. Stunning ground. There's the captain Sam, who I'm going to be doing some work with shortly, got me down here. Nice ground, the wicket looks really, really nice. We've got Highgate Cricket Club over here and then Crouch Ends out the back. Lots of tennis as well around here. So Sam's got me involved, we've been emailing, um, follows some of our stuff. So I was meant to do four 30 minute sessions with four different players, but one can't make it. So doing three 40 minute sessions, all first team players. So looking forward to getting into it with them. Where's the, um, where's the crease? Is it this, that one? So I'm releasing from there. Um, we'll go, let's assume, cause I'm spinning him in. Let's assume long on's back. We'll go long on straight mid wicket, um, sort of a cow. So I normally blow with a square leg to stop you tucking an easy one off. Deep backward. We'll go, that leaves me four and I'm only allowed one more out. I'll go mid offs up, extra cover, deep cover point and a 45 on the cut. Like he's saving one. He's not a backward point, he's more round. He's saving one. Um, yeah, so you've got four out, singles everywhere. Nice shot. So the thing about, I think, I've only, I'm talking a lot, I know, but that sort of ball, you should be getting ones off. But too many guys in their practice don't have a purpose and they don't imagine where the field is. And I like how you asked. And they'll just hit that to somewhere. And then in a game, they get that ball and they hit it to a fielder. So that's, that's one to the right of square, straight. Exactly, exactly. You've got to get that sort of ball into a gap. If you can score off those sort of balls and score regularly, you don't have to feel, there's no pressure to then take a, bit, a big risk. So you've got to sort of find ways to get off strike. So that's a dot. All good. Okay, there's a couple there, good batting. Good. So there's no run, I don't reckon there. That's where I've got the square leg. He's a good fielder. Far from the square, mate. Is it? All right, okay, a few things so. That's missing leg just. That's the first one. That's the first one you've sort of gone round your pad, your left foot, your front foot got way too far across. So we've got to figure out why that's happening. Good. How'd that feel? Okay. Not great, not bad, okay. All right, I reckon there's two little things here that I think we can try and make that a bit better. Firstly, I think you're playing well, you're moving well, you're going back when it's back of a length, you're going forward, you're hitting the middle of the bat, you're obviously in good form. Um, I reckon in your setup, you're, you're, you're setting up quite nicely, but you're maybe slightly back with this front shoulder slightly high. Yeah. And then that makes it hard to sort of get down into that, that ball. Yeah. So just something in your setup, maybe you could just dip that front shoulder just a tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And then from that sort of position, you can then get into that ball a little bit more. Yeah. And then I just think it's the size of your step. I think when it's straight, and you might have heard me say this on my stuff before, you might not, but when it's straight, if you go big, yeah. you have to play round your pad. Yeah. And I just think you're going big and then all you can do is really stop the ball yeah. or turn it. Yeah. We get that step a bit shorter, yeah. you'll be able to lean into it and hit it there with power. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So I'll throw a few more, then I think we will need to do a few underarms where you're just practicing just to really get, show me your stance width wise. Okay. So all you really need to do to hit your on drive or through mid wicket is a slight opening of that foot yeah. and then get your head and weight over there. Yeah. And then you just 
take the ball out in front of your pad. Head yeah. forward. Yeah. Yep. Take the ball out in front because you've already got width in your in your like. You don't need to step any further. Yeah. Any further, and then you have to go round. You have to go round that leg to get your bat to the ball. So I wonder sometimes whether whether the trigger, whether I don't, so like it's working out whether I go back and then open out that front foot, as opposed to maybe just going back and stay in. No, nah, I think your trigger's okay. Yeah. I think it's what happens after your trigger because it's not. It's when you're triggering, you're setting up to hit any ball. Yeah. So you want to be in a position that allows you to go full and straight, which is yeah. the ball we're talking about. Yeah full and wide yeah. and back and across. Yeah. So I think your, your setup's good and you're moving well. Yeah. It's just that straightish ball, you don't want to do that. Yeah. You just want to go like that, yeah. just a slide open. So it's just a retraining of that length, okay. yeah? That line and length. Well, legends, it is 10 past eight. I'm just walking across the ground here at North London Cricket Club, another beautiful ground here in London. As if plane going over the top. I don't know if I'm showing you it. It's a beautiful evening, a little bit overcast. We might get a drop of rain, but the weather's nice. I'm just in a t-shirt. I do have my cricket mentoring singlet underneath, but cracking day. Um, the pies winning always makes it a good day. Some coaching this afternoon. I'm full of energy, meeting some good guys, helping them get better and work out some of the issues they've been having. There's lots of kids running around the, the next ground at Highgate Cricket Club, which is great to see. I'm, uh, I'm absolutely starving, so I'm going to go and pick up Jolie, and we're going to go and get a Nando's. I can't wait to have a Nando's. Nando's in the UK is so much better than Australia. It will be my first one since I've been back, so pumped for that. Really excited. So I'm going to wrap up there. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please like, comment, share all of that. Get more people watching it. Help tell your friends about it. I want to keep adding value and making you all better cricketers. So over and out from me. Cheers, legends. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking your time out of your busy life to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you got some value, please subscribe below, hit subscribe to our channel. We, we try and publish some really interesting and valuable content for you guys, so subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out our next two videos here below. Make sure you subscribe and also turn on post notifications, and join the CM community by purchasing some merchandise Link is in the description below. Thanks, legends. Now go out and get it done.